Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can share a workbook to allow multiple users on a network to access the workbook and make changes simultaneously. All you need to do is create the workbook, set it to be a shared workbook, and then place it on a shared network drive which the editing users can access. There are, however, a few pointers that you should be aware of before you share a workbook. After sharing a workbook, you will not be able to insert or apply any of the following objects or settings until you've stopped sharing the workbook. Merged cells, conditional formatting, data validation, charts, pictures, objects, including objects made with the drawing toolbar, hyperlinks, scenarios, outlines, subtotals, data tables, pivot table reports, workbook and worksheet protection, and macros. Therefore, insert or apply these things prior to sharing the workbook if needed. Also, all users who will be editing the workbook must have Excel 97 or later to be able to make changes. To share a workbook, first open the workbook which you wish to share. Then select Tools from the menu bar, Share Workbook. That will launch the Share Workbook dialog box. In this dialog box, click the Editing tab and check the Allow Changes by More Than One User at the Same Time checkbox. You can click the Advanced tab to set additional sharing options. In the Track Changes section, you can select the Option button for Keep Change History For and then select a number in days to track any changes to the workbook. If you don't want to track changes, then select the Don't Keep Change History option. In the Update Changes section, you can select the When File is Saved option button to update the workbook's changes every time that it is saved. You could also select the Automatically Every option and then enter a number in minutes that it should save the changes automatically. If you select this option, you can also specify to save my changes and see others' changes, or just see other users' changes by clicking either option button. Sometimes when two users edit the same cell at the same time, a conflict will arise when Excel goes to save the workbook. In the Conflicting Changes Between Users section, you can set how to resolve those conflicts. You can select either the option button for Ask Me Which Changes When, or the changes being saved when. In the Include and Personal View section, you can include what to include in your custom view of the shared workbook. By default, the view includes any filter or print settings you make, or you can use the original printer and filter settings. In the future, when you open the shared workbook, it will display using the settings of your own custom view, so that each user can have their own view of the data. You can check the Print Settings and Filter Settings checkboxes to include those in the default view. When you finish specifying Share options, just click OK in the Share Workbook dialog box. In the dialog box that appears and asks you to save your workbook, click OK. You can also select File Save As from the menu bar and select the Shared Network location to which you want to save the shared workbook if needed. Once you have done this, the other users may go edit and review the shared workbook. When you want to stop sharing a shared workbook, make sure that all the other users have saved and closed their copies of the shared workbook first. Then select Tools from the menu bar and choose Share Workbook. In the Share Workbook dialog box on the Editing tab, uncheck the Allow Changes by More Than One User at the Same Time checkbox, and then click OK to stop sharing the workbook. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.